Welcome to Japan, where ancient temples, futuristic cities, and vending machines for just about everything coexist in perfect and sometimes hilarious harmony. Whether you're here for the sushi, the samurai, or just to figure out why the toilets have more buttons than a spaceship, Japan has something to make you say, wait, what? Geography and nature. Japan is basically a bunch of islands playing hard to get with the rest of Asia. There are over 6,800 of these bad boys, but don't worry, you only need to remember four. Nah, Honshu is the big one. Hokkaido is the chili cousin. Kyushu is the tropical party animal. And Shikoku is, well, the one that's always left out of group photos. And then there's Mount Fuji, Japan's ultimate photobomb. Whether you're hiking up it or just Instagramming it from afar, it's like Japan's way of saying, look at me, I'm majestic. Oh, and cherry blossoms? Japan's way of proving that even trees can have a better social life than you. Cultural heritage. Japan's culture is so rich, you might need a forklift to carry it all. For starters, there's the tea ceremony, where you spend an hour making a cup of tea that you'll drink in two seconds. But hey, it's all about the journey, not the destination, right? Then there are the festivals or matsuri, where everyone dresses up, dances, and has a great time. It's like a street party, but with 100% more tradition and 0% regret the next morning. And let's not forget the samurai. These guys were the original action heroes, except instead of flying through the air. They had to deal with the harsh realities of life, like not having Netflix. Technology and innovation. Fast forward to today, and Japan's gone from samurai swords to robot overlords, kidding. But seriously, Japan is so ahead of the tech curve, they're practically living in 2050. Tokyo is a city where your vending machine gives you life advice, yeah, and your toilet knows more about you than your therapist. <laughs> the Shinkansen, or bullet train, is Japan's answer to. I don't have time for this. It's so fast, you'll arrive at your destination before you even left. And then there are the robots, because apparently, Japan figured that if you can't find friends, you can always build them. Cuisine. Ah, Japanese food. It's like a magic trick where raw fish turns into gourmet art. Sushi is Japan's way of saying, we can make even raw fish fancy. But don't stop there, there's ramen. The original comfort food that you can't eat without making a complete mess. The louder you slurp, the better it tastes. Science. And then there's street food. Where else can you get octopus balls? Wait, let me rephrase that. Takoyaki, delicious dough balls filled with octopus. It's like a carnival in your mouth with a special guest appearance by. Seafood. Pop culture. Japan's pop culture is like that cool friend who introduces you to all the good stuff. Anime is basically animated soap operas with way more drama and superpowers. And if you thought comic books were just for kids, Japan's manga will make you reconsider and possibly question your life choices. J-pop is Japan's version of pop music, but with more glitter, bigger hair and dance moves that could power a small city. And let's not forget video games. Japan gave us Mario Kart, so if you've ever lost a friend because of a banana peel, you know who to thank. So there you have it. 
Japan, where the past meets the future and they both make fun of you in the nicest way possible. Whether you're planning a trip or just want to live vicariously through YouTube, Japan is the place where you'll never run out of things to be amazed by or laugh at. Thanks for watching and remember, like, comment and subscribe. Because in the end, we're all just here to have a good time.